Hey, happy Thursday to you and thanks for joining us on Calvary's Word of the Day. Our theme is you belong to God because of Jesus. Hey, today I want to talk about direct access. Today we're looking at the passage in Ephesians chapter 2 verses, verse 18. Here's what it says. Now all of us can come to the Father through the same Holy Spirit because of what Jesus has done for us. Coming, you know, from a sales background, I would call on companies direct. The key in my goal was to be able to get in front of the decision maker. Now, sometimes you had to weave your way through that, get to the right person. This scripture lets us know that unlike sometimes when I would have a difficult question to ask that person that they couldn't answer, I could go directly to the source. I needed direct access to the person who had authority to make the decision in my situation. This is God telling us. This verse in Ephesians lets each one of us know that we have direct access to the Holy Father through the power of the Holy Spirit because of what Jesus did for us. Not because of what we do for ourselves, but because of what Jesus did for us. In turn, ultimately, what God did for us through His Son, Jesus. You see, because Jesus was born of a virgin, He lived a sinless life, was crucified, and on the third day arose from the grave, we have direct access or a direct line to God. We don't have to go through any ritual or any person or, or, or to get access to God. We go direct to the power source, and that power source is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, when we accept Him as our Lord and Savior, empowers us with the Holy Spirit. So when you seem sometimes to get a busy signal on the other end of the line, ask God through the Holy Spirit to connect you to the wonderful source of God that God gives to each of His children. Take the time also to put on those ears and listen when God speaks. Maybe it's through His written word. Maybe it's through someone that you encounter. But God will give you access. So in other words, not only talk to Him, but listen to Him. And then here's the cool thing. Follow His direction. One of my life verses is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He'll direct your path. I found that to be an awful big help for me. I don't just trust what I know. I trust the source. I trust that direction. I love having direct access. And I want to offer that access to you today. Now, I hope to see you this weekend in one of our services. Saturday night at 5 here at our Sweetwater campus. 8 o'clock at our McCulloch campus or 9, 30, and 11 back here at our Sweetwater campuses. And if you happen to be in the Parker area, I personally would love to invite you to come to our Parker campus. Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks. Thanks for loving us. Thanks for giving us direct access to you. Father, thank you that you hear this prayer and that you answer me according to the power of your Holy Spirit. Father, you give me direction. You surround me with men and women who will speak into my life. And you give me your word as a roadmap, as a guidance. Help me to commit this word to my heart so that we will not sin against you. We have that direct access. In Jesus' strong name we pray. Amen. God bless you and bye-bye.